All right, I'm going to teach a brief teachings about this eagle feather. There's a lot of meanings about the eagle feather. And the reason why I want to share this with you, I learned uh, the meaning of the eagle, you know, from the elders. But I also learned this non-Aboriginal uh, person was talking about the eagle. It was similarity from what, but in different terminology, what the elder was knows. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. That's the same thing what the elders were teaching me about the eagle feather. Because the eagle was chosen to be a messenger for our prayers because he's so high up in the sky, you know, the elders said. And it has very powerful vision, you know. He's close to the creator. That's how come they chose him to be our sacred messenger for our prayers, you know. But it has very powerful vision. We need to learn to have powerful vision from the eagle because they can look down here, they can spot their food, they know what's going on. And so he says, we need to have that powerful vision. If we're trying to make a decision about something, we look at it. We look at it again and we make a better decision, he said. That's how come we're blessed with two eyes. He says, because we can take the second time to look at what kind of decision we're gonna make. The Creator blessed us with that. But this eagle feather is the messenger for our prayers because he's so high, you know? And so he says, the middle of the stem of this eagle feather is the, the journey we're on, the red road they call it, you know? And when we're on here, he says, it's very difficult at first. We may fall down and fall down like little kids and little babies, you know? But if we know about our culture and uh, the supports, the supports and all that, he says, and ceremonies, if we continue on that journey using it, he says, we're gonna get more and more well or get better and stronger, you know? And he said, this eagle feather, the dark side of this is that dark time we go through. But on one side, the, the feathers are shorter than this side, he said. When we first start, you know, as we continue on our journey, we get stronger and more healer. So these feathers are more, you know, that's us growing. And he said, this dark journey we're on, he said, it's very difficult, but if we do use prayer and ceremonies and our sports, we get better and better. And he said, there's white spots on the seagull feathers. And that means we have hope. We can never give up when we're feeling bad, you know, depressed and sad.